repeating. Pinky sat in the front of Rainbow Dash, a smile on her face as she watched. She sits in front of a table, a cupcake in front of her. Take a cupcake, Dashy. She mutters as Dashy gave a, a smile and soon motioned, overtaking the cupcake in hand, looking over and with it, took a bite. Rainbow Dash ne never noticed a small tear moving down her face. Jeez, Pinky! What did you put in this? Feeling herself slowly swoon wearing out, as it wasn't long before she felt herself passing out on the table, all alone, as Pinkie Pie leans in whispering, I'm sorry, Dashie. I really am. And soon began picking her up, slowly taking the rainbow mare down to the basement, ready for the horrors that would soon begin. It wasn't long before Rainbow Dash would awake, looking over to see Pinkie Pie standing in the corner, soon screaming out to her, Pinkie! What are you doing? Screamed Rainbow Dash, looking towards Pinkie Pie. The fear in her eyes, as she watched the pink mare walk towards her, slowly. Dash's body strapped to a table, as she was crying, her body tied down with restraints. She couldn't use her wings, as they were broken. They felt broken. I'm sorry, Dashy. I'm so sorry, but I have to do this. Pinky started her mane def deflated, slowly, fear in her eyes. As she walked over to the desk, which was covered up. A sense of fear and hopelessness in the pink mare's eyes as she was forced to watch her friend began forcing onto the table in the horrors of what she would have to do next, though never knowing the truth why it was that she was doing this. The moment came over as she began slowly uncovering the table revealing an assortment of sharp blades, each moving down in a straight line. What? What do you mean you have to do this? And what are you going to do with those? The fear getting closer, her eyes slowly dilating, as she tried fighting away, moving her limbs as she felt her heart racing faster, her mind racing, from the implications as her lips trembled more profusely. I'm sorry. I'm not given a choice. He won't let me get away from this. He won't. He won't. Nothing I can do stops this. Who, Pinky? Tell me before. Let me go! Screamed Rainbow Dash. She screamed, watching Pinky grab a hold of the long, serrated blade. It glimmered gently as she watched, looking over, raising her hoof, and moved, moved towards it as she felt over, letting out a small sound as she tested the sharpness. The author, the writer, the reader, the bastards. He's not the only one, Dashi. I'm sorry. He won't let us stop. He's writing this. He's controlling us. He's the devil. She muttered, her own voice trembling, as she tried moving her hoof in closer as she felt herself being forced into a smi smile. The writer? What do you mean? What writer? Dash muttered, straining more, feeling the cuffs cutting into her as she s resisted the urge to scream like she should right now, then. There was a moment of fear, not knowing if her friend had gone insane as she was getting closer, the smile never stopping. The writer, the writer Dashy, he's writing this, he's controlling us. Dash, we thought we had free will, but we don't. 
It's a lie. It's a complete lie. Tears running over her face as she reached, whipping it over to the other hoof. As she was cl even closer than before. He's doing this for shits and giggles. He wants us to suffer. He gets enjoyment. But he's not the only one. Worlds of us. Ripping and tearing. Killing. Sometimes worse. Fucking eating. And more torture. Worse than deer. And we have to do it for the gods' amusement. These elder abominations. She screamed. Looking to her. As she suddenly laughed, feeling a madness taking over. Who are these gods, Pinky? Please, fight them. Please, just let me go. I beg you. I can't. I'm so sorry. I can't. I've tried, but the gods, the gods themselves, they torture me more than anything. Because unlike you, they make me remember it all. And I have to be forced to do it all over every damn time. She screamed, nearly crying at the moment as she motioned over now, over her friend, and muttered slowly, I'm sorry, Dashi. I'm so, so sorry. Crying harder, that was the moment she felt a blade move deep into Rainbow Dash, and there it was, the screaming, the sounds of it echoing louder in the empty room. The long feeling of the blade moved over da down Dashi's skin as she tried, she was forced to watch her rip and tear, trembling and turning for a moment, slowly watching the red blood moving out of her friend's body. It was hours later, Pinky sat down, crying as she wore a cloak of cutie marks, her eyes shuddering as she tried, teared up, knowing the dead she, the deed she'd done, the horrible, nightmarish terrors that she had accomplished. She held the knife in close. She wanted to slit her throat, but she knew it wouldn't work, and closed her eyes. The only thing she could do was close her eyes. It was a good long time before she opened them again. Have a cupcake, Dash! She muttered as Dashy gave a smile and soon motioned over taking the cupcake in hand, looking over it and took a bite. Rainbow Dash never noticed a small tear moving down her face. When she did that was where she looked seeing Rainbow Dash sitting in front of the table a cupcake before her that she was close to eating. Pinky only sighed as she walked over closer and then over and began forcing the smile, same smile over and over again knowing that this event will repeat forever. Hey guys, I wanted to make a little announcement for you guys. A uh, friend of mine, you may have known her, I've told you guys about her for a while during my channel of some of my readings, Madam Horror. Well, it has come to my attention she is starting a Patreon page, and she is also currently taking commissions for the summer, as of now she has gotten out of university. Might I suggest that, while you have time, if you have a little bit of change or a little bit of money, why not send her a PayPal? She'd definitely enjoy that. She's got little piggies to feed. And you know what? She's a great artist. She provides all sorts of goodies. A little bit of horror, a little bit of romance, and a little bit of terror. I promise you, I will leave a link to her account and her Patreon. Hell, I'm one of her sponsors. This is Wolf Titan signing out, and remember... Sometimes the story never ends, even if we close the book.